the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 12. Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 12. And it says, He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. Amen. He who is devoid of wisdom despises He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Short verse full of wisdom and revelation here. We see that when we, when God redeems us, we have only the wisdom of the world. And the wisdom of the world and the law says things like, uh, you know, hate your enemies and so forth. Uh, but when we have God's wisdom, all of a sudden we have understanding and we hold our peace. Why? Why do we hold our peace? Ephesians 6 says, We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. You see, we don't wrestle. We don't war against man. Man it's either going to serve one or the other. We are either serving God or we're serving the devil. We're not making that choice. Uh, like if we are not following God, we are serving the devil. The enemy, spiritual forces can cause people to do things that they would not normally do on their own uh, because we're, we're, we cannot overpower these spirits. The only way we can overpower spirits is to put on the full armor of God, which is to have faith in the Lord, to have his word, uh, to, to be in Christ is where we are protected. Otherwise, we are open to being used by the enemy, and that's why there is all this strife. That's why there are criminals. That's why are there all these things. So that's why Jesus says in Matthew 5, I say to you, love your enemies and bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Once we understand it's not them, it's what's controlling them. We pray for them and God moves in their lives and God delivers them. And they now are led by the spirit of God and the kingdom of heaven is manifested on the earth. We also once in walk in darkness and we did not understand and we, uh, even when we thought we were doing right, we could be harming people. But when we surrender to Jesus Christ and he gives us his Holy Spirit, then we understand that we are delivered. And so we can actually pray for those who uh, who, who uh, may even persecute us and, and harm us. We can pray like those who are in prison, persecuted for their faith. They pray for their captors instead of fighting against them and it changes their lives and that is what god wants for us while we're still here on this earth lord we thank you that we are this word is just very powerful lord uh, give us the wisdom and understanding so that we no longer despise anyone uh, except the devil and sin and not people because you love the people you gave your life for the people and yet they know not what they do because they are being controlled by evil spirits and uh, they need you. But you, your word says that unless there are two, uh, two or more witnesses and then a thing will be established. When we pray, we are that second witness to you. You want to see them delivered. When we come in agreement, you move in their lives and they are set free and they too will be seeking your face. And we thank you for that. Thank you for this powerful word today. Give us that wisdom and understanding you know, can only come from you. So we ask for it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day.